What's up everybody, I'm Brian from i1 Tesla and today we're gonna to be checking out the differences between 2.5 hardware and 3.0 hardware. How much faster is the computer? This car has the 2.5 computer, like a lot of you have in your Model 3s, and this one has 3.0 computer. Elon said at the autonomy day that this computer is like 220 times faster than this computer. Well, let's go test that out today. Let's pull both of these out first. Oh my goodness, that was close. I got scared a bunch, but look how close these things summoned out to each other. Oh my God. You can barely fit through here. <laughs> that is insane. All right, so those are too close. I'm gonna put this one back in the garage so I can get inside this one and uh, videotape it. Think we can summon it backwards without hitting anything? That was no problem for the car. So let's get in the Model X. Let's do some of the tests that I have planned. All right, the first test is reboot. I'm gonna push the steering wheel nipples, hold them down with my foot off the brake and we're going to see how long it takes to reboot. I'm pressing now. Screen is black, fingerprints are all over it already. I don't have a tempered glass screen protector yet for this, but I think I'm going to soon. The screen up there went black and the T came up. Now the T is on here and the climate control is off. So it looks like it's up and running. We're able to do stuff uh, and we're able to go. That was pretty quick. We're on my Wi-Fi here at the house. So next test is going to be a speed test. We're going to try out uh, on Wi-Fi here. I do have gigabit speed here. Uh, through AT&T. So we're going to see parked in the driveway and I do have a router inside the garage, a gigabit in extender which is plugged in. So uh, we should get some decent speeds. So Wi-Fi, here we go. The uh, 58 ping is kind of low. I don't think they put a very large Wi-Fi an antenna in here because it's all based on the antennas, how fast uh, you're gonna receive the signal. All right, so there you go. Just for comparison, the same app, same spot. The antennas are actually on the roof on this. Uh, you can see huge difference. Again, it is Wi-Fi, so it is a lot slower, but 140 to 15 is a huge, huge difference there. Now let's turn off Wi-Fi. All I have to do is put my foot on the brake and put it in drive, because you cannot be in Wi-Fi while you're in drive. And we're gonna test this again. We're gonna let the eight, we're gonna let the LTE signal connect, which it is connected, and we're gonna press go. And now it, it is AT&T LTE signal. Ping is about the same. And that is very low LTE. For comparison's sake, I'm turning off Wi-Fi. So we're on LTE. I have AT&T as well. So this is going to be a fairly good test. It's not even pulling it up on LTE, even though I have three bars here. As soon as I put it in park, Wi-Fi comes up, reboot, and it allows me to do it. So this website must not be allowed to be used in LTE. Now we're going to test the speeds of the games, how fast they up, they load up. Um, I don't have version 2019.20 on this. I have, this has .15. So uh, we can't use the app launcher down here. We are going to have to use the menu system like normal. As you can see, our Model X performance ludicrous mode, and we named our car Ecstatic. We're pretty ecstatic to get it, man. Woohoo! I'm ecstatic. 
So we're gonna go into the games and we're gonna load up a couple games. I don't have the racing game on this, so we're just going to load up and start. And you see it loads up pretty fast. And let's launch something that is gonna be a little bit more labor intensive. Um, Search, it's searching. It's taking a little bit. Should have cleaned off the fingerprints. And now it pops up. I've never opened this game in here. So that, that took a little while actually. Uh, that's pretty fast. You use the wheel on this? Yeah, I use the wheel on this game as well. So this one's going to be a little different because uh, I have to show both screens here, but we're going to do a couple testings while driving, how the autopilot computers can handle rebooting while driving and autopilot, uh, how the nags pop up and things like that, Those the time frames on those. First test we're going to do is nag times. I didn't say drag times, but that is a good channel, you should watch him. All right, we're gonna put it in autopilot. And now we are going to wait to see when the nag pops up. All right, nag just popped up on the bottom and we are going to pull the wheel and then see how long it takes. There we go. Now again, these are under 50 miles an hour. The second test is once we get past this bridge, we're gonna put it in autopilot and then reboot the screens as we're driving in autopilot to see what happens. We are, I already know what happens in the Model 3, really nothing, but we're gonna see how long it takes to reboot as we're doing that process. So we're gonna put it in autopilot. I wanna get past this bridge because there's no lines on the bridge. All right. Now I'm going to reboot the computer. While we're driving, everything goes black. Feel, think we're going to crash. We're not. The computer's still running. So it's really just the screens rebooting. Uh, <clears throat> but during this process, we have no nags whatsoever. It slowed down for that turn. And you can see it's still doing the work behind it. It says um, it lowered the speed to 45 on that turn for some reason, but it's still working in the background. This screen takes a little bit to pop up, but pretty cool. Now let's wait for the nag to pop up as well. There we go, first nag already. So the nags are already tied into this. Slow way down, there's a car turning up there. Still don't have the first nag. Even with a tricky intersection back there. There we go, first nag just popped up now. So obviously not a scientific thing. Just wanted to do a quick video on the differences. If there really is a 200% difference, uh, maybe there is a, a little bit. Uh, I'm not gonna calculate these out. You guys can calculate them out if you want to. Like I said, this isn't scientific. I just wanted to see if we can see the difference, see if there's a huge difference in that. Obviously there's gonna be a big difference in autopilot and then full self-driving. But just from doing these tests without looking at the footage, I do see a little difference in the 3.0 computer for the normal day-to-day -day stuff, but obviously the, the 2.5 computer was a little faster with the games. Is that necessary? 
most people are not going to play the games in the Model S and the Model X. That could be the Model S and Model X uh, characteristics of how the wiring is versus the Model 3. Uh, it'd be kind of cool to get another Model 3 with 3.0 computer and see what the difference is with that. Uh, if, if anybody lives in the Mooresville area that has a 3.0 computer, let me know. We can do that video. But for now, this is all you got. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, click the links down below for uh, customizing your car and also uh, look me up on patreon There's a link at the end of the video as well a lot of cool things. I want to do I am changing up patreon a little bit haven't done that video yet, but uh, if you're interested in helping out the channel Take a look. I'd appreciate it as always though stay awesome stay positive and I'll catch you on the next one